ಹಲೋ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ಗೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಇಂದಿನ ವೀಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಕಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ಸ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಲಾ ಅಂದರೆ ಕೆ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಿಚ್ ಆಫ್ಸ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಲಾ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಅ ನೋಡ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಷ್ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕೆ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ನೋಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಟೂ ಆರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ವೇರ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಐಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾಮಿಂಗ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಡಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ನ ನಾನೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ವೇರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಐಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ತರ್ಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ನೋಡ್ನ ನಾನೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಮೂರು ಅಥವಾ ಮೂರಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಏನಾದರೂ ಒಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಏನಾದರೂ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಆ ನೋಡ್ನ ನಾನೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ನೋಡ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಈ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ನ ನಾನು ಜಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತಲೂ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ನೋಡ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ನೋಡಲ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಲೂಪ್ ಎನಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಫರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಒಂದು ಪಾತ್ ನಾನೇನಾದರೂ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆ ಪಾತ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಪ್ಯಾಸಿವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಪಾತ್ನ ನಾನೇನಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಲೂಪ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಮೆಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ಲೂಪ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ನಾನು ಲೂಪ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀನಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ಈ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೂಪ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಲೂಪ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಲೂಪ್ಸ್ ಯಾವುದ್ಯಾವುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಲ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡೋಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಐಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಲೂಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಐಲ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲೂಪ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆ ವಿ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಲೂಪ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆಸ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೋಡಲ್ ಅನಾಲಿಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಪಾತ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ
So first definition A and the third sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents. Second definition A and the third algebraic sum of currents at a node or junction is equal to zero. Here I am going to talk about principal nodes. Here I am going to talk about principal nodes. This is very very important. Next, let us talk about Kirchhoff's voltage law. In the case of Kirchhoff's voltage law, we are going to talk about a closed loop. In a closed loop, sum of voltage rise is equal to sum of voltage drop. This is one definition. In one definition, algebraic sum of voltages in the loop or a mess is equal to zero. Let me consider a simple circuit. So, I will be having a three resistive network which is excited by a voltage source that is V. This resistance value is R1, R2 and R3 and the assume. The current flowing through this elements, I am going to call it as I. So the voltage drop over here is V1, V2 and V3. So current minus in the plus code, I am going to call it positive. Plus in the minus, that value I am going to take it as negative. Sum of voltage rise. This is a rise value that is V which is equals to there will be a voltage drop across R1, R2 and R3. The equivalent voltages will be V1, V2, V3. So, this is first definition in the bandito. In one mathematical equation in one third, algebraic sum of voltages in a loop or a mess is equals to zero. Nothing but voltage rise in other way, that one I am going to treat it as plus V, voltage drops in other way, I am going to treat it as negative sign. So, I will be getting minus V1, minus V2, minus V3 which is equals to 0. If I am sending these terms on the right side, I will be getting V equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Able to follow? So, if I am relating these two expressions, so if I had expression on another compare model, I will be getting the same result. So, in the case of KVL, nothing but Kirchhoff's voltage law, the first definition is sum of voltage rise is equals to sum of voltage drop. Algebraic sum of voltages in the loop is equals to zero. This very definition on the graph that it comes from. So, if you are doing UGC any exams, that is, certain exams, then you are preparing. MCQs will be based on these two things. KCL and KVL is applicable for linear and non-linear elements. That is, you are doing only for linear elements. That is, you are doing only for non-linear elements. That is, you are doing. It is neither applicable for linear and non-linear elements. That is, you are doing. So, if you want to take a look at KCL and KVL is applicable for linear and non-linear elements. So, linear elements are applicable for linear and non-linear elements. Your passive elements that is RLC. Non-linear elements are applicable for linear elements. Example is your diode. This question has been asked in n number of times in several competitive exams. The question is KCL and KVL is applicable for DC circuits only and that is S1 general of Martha. But we should also remember that KCL and KVL is applicable for both AC and DC circuit elements. So, these two points are very very important. Now, let us discuss the problems based on KCL and KVL. The first problem what they are given is the incoming currents is x plus 2 and the outgoing currents is 3 plus 5 which is equals to 8 amperes. So, the value of x equals to 8 minus 2 which is equals to 6 amperes. Nothing but 2 amperes and 6 amperes are entering, 3 amperes and 5 amperes are leaving. Nothing but at a node or a junction, sum of incoming currents is equal to sum of outgoing currents. Let me consider the second example. The entering currents are y ampere plus 3 ampere plus 5 ampere. You are going to equate it to 0 because the leaving currents are 0 or the algebraic sum of currents at a node is equal to 0. I am assuming all the incoming currents as a positive value and all the leaving currents as negative value. So, y equals to minus 8 amperes. That means the current is not entering. This direction should be like this. Third question, it is based on AC networks. See, first problem and second problem is excited by a DC source. The third problem is excited by an AC source. So, the incoming currents are Z plus 3 at an angle of 50 and the leaving current is equal to 6 at an angle of 30. So, what is the value of Z? Z equals to 6 at an angle of 30 minus 3 at an angle of 50. 
right so this kcl and kvl is applicable for both ac networks as well as dc excited networks and also it is applicable for linear and non-linear elements let us consider the fourth problem so you have to find the loop current that is i so how can i find the loop current i i equals to what is the total voltage that is 7 divided by what is the total resistance involved in the path the resistance are in series if the resistance are in series means you should add the elements that is 7 divided by 7 which is equals to 1 amperes or the other way is i got current equals to 1 ampere so the voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor is 2 volts and the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor is 5 volts let me make use of kvl what it states is sum of voltage rise is equals to sum of voltage drop so 7 volts means it is a voltage rise is equals to drop voltages are 2 plus 5 so i'll be getting lhs equals to rhs nothing but sum of voltage rise is equals to sum of voltage drop this is according to first definition second definition what it states means algebraic sum of voltages in a loop or a mess is equals to zero nothing but the voltage rise minus two plus i'm going to consider it as voltage rise that time i'm going to consider it as positive and plus two minus means i'll be considered as voltage drop so i'll be getting seven minus two minus five which is equals to zero so i'll be getting zero let me consider fifth example this loop i am going to call it as i1 and this loop i am going to call it as i2 the outer loop i can consider as i3 so in the loop analysis i can able to solve for i1 i2 and i3 in the mess analysis i need to go with only i1 and i2 this is very very important so what is the loop equation in the case of this branch that is plus 3 minus 1 times of i1 minus 1 times of i1 minus i2 yak i1 minus i2 i1 is flowing in downwards direction i2 is flowing in upward direction but the net current i am assuming to be in downward direction which is equals to zero so i'll be getting 2 i1 minus i2 which is equals to 3 so this is equation 1 so KVL for loop I2 apply minus of so E current in Baratantara I2 minus I1 minus E current in Baratantara I1 minus 3 which is equals to 0. So I'll be getting minus 2 times of I2 plus I1 which is equals to 3. So I can call this one as equation 2. On solving equation 1 and 2 i can able to find the values of i1 and i2 this problem i can make use of source transformation or directly i can go with nodal analysis in the case of nodal analysis i will be assuming all the currents are leaving the node or all the currents are entering the node or you can assume these two currents are entering and this current is leaving however you want you can solve Akasmat ni vena current in other e direction assume at Kunitra e direction Akasmat in other negative sign in other bandra whatever the direction you have taken is wrong you have to just reverse the direction. So, e video the Rinanu Kirchhoff's current law that is KCL Kirchhoff's voltage law that is KVL node and Rinu simple node and Rinu principal node and Rinu loop and Rinu mess and Rinu KCL mathe KVL bagge nan detail like explain maadithini adaldene KCL mathe KVL yavag applicable agutte adru bagge nu nan helidini adaldene i have discussed with problems also if you have followed with my lecture please give it a big thumbs up also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel electronics canada thank you friends dhanyavadagalu